Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about SQL window functions, how window functions helps to improve uh, SQL performance rather than using normal aggregate functions. In case of normal aggregate functions, we use a group by clause. So group by clause would group a number of rows, a number of uh, columns which we are specifying. So it rather than grouping, we don't use any groups in case of window functions. So group by clause would degrade the performance of a SQL query, which would uh, result a slow performance. Whereas in case of window functions, we don't use a group by. It performs directly with specific set of window functions. So window functions will directly move. How does a window function look like and what are all window functions available? So these window functions uh, are asked in each of the interviews. You may be a beginner, you may be an intermediate, or you may be a proficient. In case of any interview, view window functions are asked because these functions are used more in case of wherever a SQL performance need to be improved. So moving towards window function, how does it look like? What all window functions we have? The window functions in SQL, a window function performs a calculation across a set of table rows that are somehow related to a particular current flow on which we are performing any of the aggregate function. This is comparable to a normal aggregate function, but in case of regular or normal aggregate function, use of a window function does not cause to become grouped in a single output row. Whereas in case of aggregate function, a single output is given. Let's suppose see this aggregate function output. So where there are multiple group rows grouped together as a single output. Whereas in case of window function, every row would would be a distinct identity. Each row would act as a separate identity. So in case of aggregate function, this that operates on a complete or entire table. Whereas in case of window function, that does not give result uh, in a combined single row. It means that the window function works on a group of rows and returns values for each of the row. As a result, each row would retain its distinct identity. So moving further, how does a window function query look like? So starting with window function, whichever window function we are using. So in this video, we are going to learn about four important window functions. Apart from these four important window functions, there are also some other window uh, uh, important window functions. We would be covering that in a different topic. But this video primarily focuses on the interview aspects, whatever, uh, what all interview questions related to window functions are asked, and how window functions helps to improve the performance rather than using normal aggregate functions where we use a group by clause, which degrades the performance of a SQL. So window function, all, uh, all is nothing but whatever columns we want to select, either we can use that column or all expression. Expression is nothing but the column name over. So over it specifies window clause for aggregate functions. Mainly there are two types of expressions, either by partition by or by order by. So what does partition by means? This clause divides the row into separate set of partitions. We have to specify the partition value there. If we want more than one partition, more than one column, we need to separate them by comma. In case of SQL uh, Server, we will group the entire table when this clause is not specified. Whereas in case of order by, it is used to uh, specify the order of rows with each of the partition. And when this clause is not declined, in case of SQL Server, uh, use of order by is, would be for complete entire table. So moving forward, we would be learning these four important functions, uh, window functions in this video. What is row number? What is rank? What is dense rank? And what is entire? So how does a row number differ as compared to rank, as compared to dense rank, and how as compared to entire? We would be uh, learning in this video. So row number, it is used to assign a unique sequential record to each 
maybe if you have around 100 records, so row number would be 1 to 100. It would start with 1 and it would end at the maximum value, which is 100. So you can compare it with any normal uh, um, understanding. So if you consider a book, a book might have a same information available in different pages, but every page acts as an unique independent page. So page numbers might be different. You can also compare the row number with a basic Power BI. If in case you are using a Power BI where we use an index uh, in order to create an index column, we have an option available in Power Query or Power uh, Editor itself, the Power uh, back, the backend Power Query Editor as well as the Power View, where index start with either zero or one. But in case of SQL, you can compare it with same index in Power BI. In case of SQL, row number we don't have zero because zero doesn't has a value in SQL. Whereas uh, in Power BI, either you can use zero or one uh, in case of index. So in case of SQL, row number would start from one and it would end with the maximum value. So we would create a student info table here. Registration number and marks are the two columns available in student info. So you can find that table created here. Once this is created, we would insert nine different values available with us. The registration number as well as their respective marks. So we have one to nine unique registration numbers and marks would reply and marks would contain duplicates. I mean, one registration number might have same marks with as of different registration number or different student. If you see here, 90 is repeated, 101104. 54 is reported, 107 and 109. In 92 is also reported, 103 and 106. So we would see how a row number would work on this concept. So how a row number would work, we would first start with select. Either you can write all if you want all columns or else you can specify the columns which you want. In case of this table, we only have two columns. So we are specifying their two columns directly, registration number comma marks comma so here comes the function row underscore numbers function is always enclosed uh, with braces after the row the function name is written row number once row number is written we use over you want to order by marks so we are ordering by marks descending so it would start with maximum marks uh, maximum marks and it would go on in decreasing order from or you can write alias also as row underscore number from students underscore info table. We'll run this query. So row number would irrespective of marks, we are uh, ordering marks by descending. So irrespective of marks, row number won't give you any duplicates or won't take a same value, it would identify every mark as a unique identity and it would go on adding a row number for each of the marks. Whereas in case of rank, we'll move towards rank. It is used to generate a unique rank for each row in a table based on a specific value. If this function gets two records with same value, it will assign same rank to, to, to that specific records and it would skip the next available ranking. So for example, if a rank two has two identical values, then rank provides same rank two to both the values and it would skip the next three and it would directly go to four. So how does it differ from a row number? We'll check there in query editor. In case of row number, we would use rank. If you want this alias to be changed as rank, you can change it also to rank or rank underscore value. We would run this. So in case of rank, we are ordering it by descending. So 95 is unique, 95 isn't repeated, rank would be one. 92, 92, it is repeating for 103 and 106 registration number. So it would give two, two. In case of rank, it would omit because the two is already re, uh, repeating, it would omit the third value or it would omit third rank and it would directly go to four. Whereas 90 is also repeating, so it would be four, four. And the very next value is 85. It would omit five, it would go to directly six, seven. 54 is also repeating for 107 and 109. So it would directly, uh, it would give you eight, eight, and it would omit nine, it would directly go to 10 if there would have been any other record available.
whereas in case of dense rank uh, we'll move towards dense rank it works same as rank it is almost similar like a rank except it doesn't skip any rank in case of rank if their value is repeated it would skip the next available rank whereas in case of dense rank even though value is repeated it would give you the same value for that repeated value but it won't skip the next available value it won't omit that value so how does it look like in case of dense rank we'll change it to dense rank dense underscore rank and change this to dense rank values we would run this would start with 95 just because we have 95 as the highest marks 92 it is repeating 2 2 and it would go to 3 because even 90 is repeating it would be 3 3 but it won't uh, omit in case of rank it would have directly gone to 4 but in case of dense rank it won't omit the third it would take third even though third is repeating 3 3 and it would again go to 4 5 even though 6 54 54 is repeating marks are repeating so it would give you 6 6 and it would go to 7 if the other value would have been available so in case of dense rank it acts similar like rank but it won't omit the next available value it would go on taking that available value even though there are duplicates it would act that i mean a particular duplicate value with the same rank available that is here in case 95 is unique 1 92 92 is repeated 2 2 it would go to after 92 this the the latest uh, marks available or the highest marks available after 92 is 90 so it would go to 3 in case of rank it would have omitted and it would have directly gone to 4 moving further there is the important function called as n tile so this window function distributes row in predefined number of uh, equal approximate groups so whenever each group is assigned a rank depending on this uh, defined condition the numbering begins with the first group so wherever there are partitions given uh, the number begins with that first partition so it enables us to determine whether it may be a percentile or a quartile or I mean what type of quarter uh, quartile is it or which uh, subdivision is it so how does a uh, entile would work we would use entile here we would call that entile function entile we need to give a partition so we have nine records we can give let's suppose we see we have uh, we need we can divide it by three partitions we can change the alias here so nine divided by three partitions so it would be three equal partitions one 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 marks are already we have described as a descending so first three marks would be one 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 then the other three top marks would be two 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 and three 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 let's change it to two how does it differ so we have nine as an odd number nine records available it would divide into two different partitions but here uh, the difference would be in two partitions we can i mean if the records would have been eight we would have div divided with by two and four four would be a different partition that would be one four times and two four times whereas here we have nine records so one always would have a overhand over two or wherever the west next value is available so one would be five times so one is five times here and 2 is 4 times just because we have odd number of values one would be overhand over 2 uh, the next value available so let's suppose divide it by 4 so anything uh, we have around 9 values so 9 divided by 4 would be 2 2 values each and one would have overhand because we have an extra value that is the ninth value we we'll would run it so every value would be 2 2 that is 4 is twice 3 is twice 2 is twice just because we have one more extra value the ninth value one would be overhand above all other partitions in case of nine it would give you just like a row number nine different partitions so every partition would be unique here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and 9 let's suppose we divide it by 5 so every value would be 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 4 and the extra value is fifth so we are dividing it by five partitions that means nine records five partitions we have one more extra value but fifth value is only one so it would it would calculate that fifth value as a separate entity whereas in case of three it would have calculated one as a separate because uh, 
once we divide that number, uh, I mean, any odd number uh, by uh, the partition, it would first take one as an overhand. But in case of five, one is already overhand. I mean, one is already uh, repeated once. So it would take fifth, even though fifth is, if, if at all fifth is repeating, and we could have divided, uh, the one would have an overhand. So you can use any number of partitions here and you can check. So window functions are most widely asked interview questions, maybe any any type of interview, maybe intermediate interview, maybe uh, any, uh, I mean, irrespective of any experience, window functions are asked, uh, how does it differ than normal aggregate functions? How does it helps to improve the performance? Because in case of normal aggregate, we use group by which would degrade the performance of a SQL query. Whereas in case of windows, window functions, we don't use group by, we use that function directly and which helps to improve the performance rather than normal window, uh, normal aggregate functions. Thank you.